Alright, some of you might have already seen this, but uh, this is really interesting and quite scary. Uh, kind of this new world order plan that our government has for us. Now when I say government, I'm not including Trump and his part of the military because he does have a separate part of the military. So, uh, I'll just click this and let you guys watch this real quick. Wanted. Let's find out what they're doing with finding a vaccine. Interesting enough. This is a lady from FEMA. Law and justice. She, uh, she's and coming forward to with, um, let everybody know what the, the COVID-19 has to do with to the new world order. you can see down below... Here's the articles, like from yesterday and today. Usually, this is a FEMA.org special access hours, and this is updated. And as website as that, said, she's helped, you know, that she's helped, that she's revealing to the public. So it is available to I the public, and she tells you how to uh, access it. Well, here's the strategic. If you want to go and explore um, the 200 different layers, you have to sign up for the World Economic Forum's uh, Strategic Intelligence. I don't know if you want to do that or not, but um, I did because I want to bring you the news so that you can bring or make wise decisions. So this also has a watch video overview. It's very interesting. But just, I'm gonna scroll through this kind of slowly so you can get an idea. Each they got it blurred out so you can't see it, but it's blah, 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 something dot org. is being inserted in each one of these different things to a layer of 200 deep. So we're starting in our A's. We've got 5G. We've got 3D printing. We've got the automotive, aviation. I'm going to turn we've this up a little bit. We've got behavioral sciences. We've got banking and capital markets. We've got biodiversity, biotechnology, blockchain. We've got various countries are being beta tested for certain things. Cybersecurity, um, the fourth industrial revolution is what they're calling this. The future of energy, the future of healthcare. Where did that go? Future of healthcare is up there. Um, the future of mobility. Can you uh, get from here to there and how, you know, what restrictions are going to be in place? They just came out uh, with a white paper either yesterday morning or this morning with the no one, tra no one trusted traveler. And that is being beta tested right now. So we are going to have to have a new form of ID. They are inserting all this weird gender parity. Um, it's really a sicko uh, gender parity situation. Um, let's see. This is the plan Human that the New World Order things. has for us. Of course. Uh, this has been in place the, for over 20 the, years. That the baby being planned for over 50 years. Will all be uh, and designed, they're trying to implement it. enhanced, or augmented. There will be no God... Uh, created humans in 2030 2030 so no god created humans internet of things the internet in general like i said law and justice every country here you've got the lgbti inclusion and oh boy you don't even want to go there but um, someone has to to bring you the news of how corrupt this is media in and in entertainment mental health migration, metals and mining, neuroscience, nuclear, private investor, uh, precision medicine. And here are, everything has to be in alignment with the United Nations um, sustainable development goals. So you've got zero hunger, well-being, health and well-being. And of course, only the United Nations can address that for you. Education, gender equality, 
uh, er eradicating poverty, that means eradicating you, clean water and sanitation, affordable and clean energy, um, economic growth, um, innovation and infrastructure, reduced inequalities. And when they're talking about inequalities, they are not only talking about the difference between men and women, they are also including things like animals and also different entities. And you will find that the synths or synthetic life forms like robots are going to be also included in this as well as de demonic entities and so forth. That is why they did the clade X and classified, reclassified all life forms. It includes sustainable cities and communities. Uh, consumption, you're, as you know, you go to the store right now and your consumption has been disrupted. It will never ever go back the way that it was. Their plan for you when you dig into the documents within this website is they are going to offer you 1.2 ounces of a laboratory created or insect protein, no meat whatsoever, and 36 grams of carbohydrate with no sweetener. Um, the 1.2 ounces of protein is a week, and the 36 grams of carbohydrate is every 21 days. So let me play that for you again, just in case you did not hear that right. Reclassified all life forms. It includes sustainable cities and communities. Uh, consumption, you're, as you know, you go to the store right now and your consumption has been disrupted. It will never ever go back the way that it was. Their plan for you when you dig into the documents within this website is they are going to offer you 1.2 ounces of a laboratory created or insect protein, no meat whatsoever. No meat. And 36 grams of carbohydrate with no sweetener. Um, the 1.2 ounces of protein is a week, and the 36 grams of carbohydrate is every 21 days. So, and, and another part of this is that we're um, not allowed to farm, can take nothing from nature from this point, forward. nothing from nature, and as a matter no of fact, food, we have to reduce our no wood by a half. So everything that you see here, and if you're involved in a job or if you're in, in you can't even in collect farming, rain. There are rules and regulations They're already doing and that. mandates being put that you cannot do business as you did before. This is the revelation and prophetic times. Um, and you're there will be consequences if you do not go along with their program. Consequences. Um, that could be imprisonment for a brief time, but for those that cannot be re-educated quickly, re -educated. Um, it will mean death. Uh, the supply chain, or death. as we know, has been disrupted, and they are inserting global governance right now. Uh, sustainable development. Like I said, you can go to um, any country and find out what they're beta testing in that particular country. Um, a big issue is the value system. They are very active in changing your value system to what they want you to believe. And virtual and augmented reality, that is what social distancing is all about. Many of us would have been resistant to do everything in our life virtually or augmented. And now with social distancing, we can't get together. Um, there's different penalties depending upon where you're at for gathering. And also there's the fear of disease. So basically we are doing everything from ordering things, doing Zoom meetings, holding classes, um, just networking and getting 
you know, just talking with one another. Um, we're doing this all through virtual. Okay. You've heard enough. If you want to see the whole thing, I'll show you where I found it. It's right here. It's a YouTube channel. George Soros' ugly face is on the cover. You can't miss it. There's another one that's basically the same thing, but without the website page. It's just her and this other guy talking. This guy right here. Not saying that that's true. Not saying it's gonna come true. But that's the plan. And you've been hearing presidents for the last 20 years or so speak of nothing but the new world order, the new world order, the new world order. Obama, Clinton, as far as back as I can remember, they've all said the new world order, a new world order is coming. Well, they're trying to push it. And whether it comes true or not, is going to depend on how Trump handles this situation. So, from what I understand, this guy, Q, and other military people got together and convinced Trump to run for office. Why Trump is... The one, I have no idea, but it seems like he's doing good for the country. The economy was way up. Jobs were way up. Either he's our savior or he's our antichrist. I don't want to say it that way because I really, really, really hope he's our savior, but with combination of God and uh, Trump and our common sense, maybe we'll get through this. They said this is not a four-year plan. This is a 20-year plan for Trump to be in office one way or the other. He's got siblings, or not siblings, but he's got family to take over his spot, one after another, after another, after another. If we can do it, we we, we got to do it in the voting polls. That's the only way we're going to get out of this. Any Democrat, and I'm sorry because I voted for Obama the first time, and I apologize for that because, you know, I was all about the hope and the, everything like everybody else fell for it. But uh, it didn't take me long to find out or to realize that I made a big mistake. And the second time, I did not vote for him. So, and I damn sure wasn't going to vote for Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no way would that ever happen. All right, so... You know what I know. I tried to uh, post on Facebook, I tried to post it on YouTube, you know, um, a bunch of people, a bunch of, uh, not people, but websites and stuff are shutting down anything about 5G, anything about positive towards Trump, I mean, it's all been flagged, they want him out of office for some ungod ungodly reason, why, I don't know. Who would not want to the United States to prosper? Who would not want the people to prosper? Who would not want us to worship God? Who would not want us to follow in the footsteps of our founding fathers? Freedom. Who would not want freedom? I, 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 I can't even fathom what is coming for us if we don't 
continue down this same path that we're on right now. I, I, I don't know. Hopefully it's all just a bunch of hogwash, conspiracy theories. I don't know. But, you know, other people seem to know. And nobody else is talking about it. People need to talk about it. People need to be educated. People need to be... Uh, just act like Americans. Stop worrying about the president's uh, past and look at our foreseeable future if you want a future do you want to live in concentration camps hell no I don't want to do you want to be poor I don't want to I'm still working I'm an essential worker but yeah I'm working paycheck to paycheck and even with two incomes it's people still struggle it's very hard Trump has taken over the uh, Federal Reserve. He's blended the Federal Reserve in with the National Treasury. What does that mean? Well, he has control to do what he wants with that money. In some aspect or another. That's what that means. Our money is no longer gold dependent. It's cash dependent, and they absolutely, positively do not want the other end, the other side, does not want cash money. They want a digital currency so they can control us by taking over our banking system. With a press of a button, you will lose everything that you have. Everything. Do we really want that? 5G on every corner. Not saying that it's going to make us sick. Not saying that it's going to blast us with radiation. The body will get used to it if it does. It will adjust to it. Some might not be able to adjust to it. But most of us will be able to adjust to it. Do a Google search. And uh, go on uh, YouTube pages. And look up. Um, Sydney, Australia, 5G walk walkthrough. Sydney, Australia, 5G walkthrough. I've posted it before, but I can't find it right now. Look at that. Every 50 feet, there's a 5G relay. Every, like, three or 400 feet to a, a football field. Every football field. 100 yards, there's towers in Sydney, Australia. They're on top of buildings. And this guy gets out his, his reader and shows how strong the magnetic radiation or whatever it is, EMF, coming off these towers is. And it's above standard. And nobody's doing anything about it. And eventually it will make people sick. It will give you a headache. It'll upset your stomach. And for some people, just like the coronavirus or COVID-19, it might be fatal. If you have a weak uh, uh, immune system in any way, shape or form, without steroids or the use of the good drugs, it's going to affect a lot of people, a lot of older people, especially because their bodies haven't had time to adjust to it. Remember when they did that little frequency test and nobody over 30 could hear that sound wave? But our kids are like, ah, shut that shit off, dad, shut that shit off. This is what 5G is. They wanted to put it in that in between those two frequencies where the kids couldn't detect it and we couldn't detect it. That's all that was, was a test to find out who would be able to hear or detect that sound wave, 5G. Don't believe me? Research it yourself. That's exactly what it is. I work in sound 
sound waves every day. I know how acoustics work. I know how sound works. I know how ultrasound, everything works. We have to study it at, at work. This is what we do almost every day to find a thickness or a flaw in a weld or thickness in a pipe or a flaw in a weld or a flaw in, in steel. You have to know how this stuff works and it's all in a sound wave. The higher the sound wave, the higher megahertz, the shorter the sound wave travels. Just like 5G, it's a very strong sound wave. Magnetic wave, whatever, line of force, whatever. Since it's strong, it can't travel. It needs a relay to get to other places. Watch the video. Watch any video that has 5G in it. And you will see the towers and then the relays built into lamp posts, um, uh, mailboxes. See mailboxes on the on the streets in New York. Remember that thing that they put by the by the uh, by the uh, tunnels? Yeah, that's what that is. That is a 5G tower with facial recognition. Another thing, facial recognition. If you have a cell phone, if you've ever taken a selfie and that you've seen that box around the picture, guess what? They know your facial identification. They can pick you out from up to a quarter mile away. Research that. Any facial recognition camera can pick you out from a quarter mile away. From a crowd. Yeah, that's scary. 5G technology. Here's 5G technology. You walk out from your, say, Walmart. You want an Uber ride. You don't have to pick up your phone. You don't have to dial. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is look straight and say, Uber. And a facial recognition camera will read your lips on what you just said. Your cell phone will be listening to every word that you say. Every word that you say. Don't believe me? Try to text something or post something about something while talking about it. Ten minutes later, something else will pop up on your Facebook saying that. Same with test message. Your phone listens to you all the time. Your computer listens to you all the time. Your Alexa listens to you all the time. Hi Alexa, how are you today? Hi Alexa, how are you today? I'm really good. Oops, I meant to say really good. Guess I've been saying too many tongue twisters. Yeah, you, you said enough. Alexa, off. Alexa's scary shit. I don't know why I have one in my house, but I do. We don't use it for anything but a freaking encyclopedia. Or weather updates. That's it. Alright. I've said enough. i said too much. Everybody have a happy Easter. Have faith in God. Have faith in Trump. Uh, Q. And everybody that's fighting for us in the military, the police, uh, National Guard, they're there for a reason. They're not here to arrest us. They're here to keep us safe. You see these guys going to the parks with their kids and stuff, and then they're getting arrested. Well, there's a lot of people, a lot of bad people out there right now that are getting taken down, and they're fighting back. The one way they're going to fight back is they're going to take our kids. They're going to take our kids. And hold them hostage and say, hey, you're going to comply with this or we're going to kill your kid or worse. They might even take you into their thing. They have underground tunnels that I've been talking about for, I don't know, five or six years. They're called DUMBS. D-U-M-B. What it is, is a deep underground military base. Or bunker. Some of them are bases, some of them are bunkers. There's good military, and then there's bad military. 
The bad military is from the United Nations, UN. The good military is our military. However, they have turned some of our military against us. Sorry, but it's true. Trump and Q and some of the good generals have identified what they think are good people, along with Putin. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, Putin is Russian, but he's on our side. For this moment, he wants to clear corruption throughout the world, just like Trump does, just like uh, the Ukrainian president now. The other one, he wasn't worth two shits. This new guy, he's good. I forget his name, but he was in the impeachment trials and everything, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's just another tactic to get rid of Trump. They are going to try anything to get rid of Trump. They may even try to assassinate him. They've already tried once or twice that I can think of. <clears throat> the American people need to be behind Trump. They need to be behind our military. They need to be behind our police. These videos that they're, that they're showing us with uh, police brutality and stuff. Come on. You really think a cop just wants to beat you up for the heck of it? No. He's not going to do that constitutionally. He's, he has... Uh, a, he's there to serve us, to protect us. Not here to beat us up. If they're, if they're beating you up, nine times out of ten, I'll even say 9.7 times out of ten, you deserve it. You either didn't follow any directions... Or you broke the law previously. Or you may have a weapon on you, which is a threat to them. Cops are just people too. They're mothers, they're fathers, they're brothers, sisters, just like us. They're all part of the United States Armed Forces. Respect them, and they will respect you. The National Guard isn't here to take away your rights or whatever. They may keep you in your house, but it's for your own good. It's to protect you. Stay home, stay safe, and have faith. And I hope everybody has as well as the Easter as they can. Uh, this weekend, a lot of shit is going down. A lot. Soon, Hopefully soon it'll be over and we can go back to our normal lives. Going to work, going to church, going to the store and buying what we want instead of the government telling us what we can and cannot buy. Did you see the post from Michigan that I posted? The live feed from Michigan? Yeah, one of my personal friends that I used to know in Michigan recorded that live. Did you see how angry and upset he was? He has every right to be angry and upset. He can't buy diapers. He can't buy food. He, or he can buy food, but he can't buy a grill. He can't buy lighter fluid. He can't buy charcoal. He can't buy wood. He can't get anything from the store that's not food. Think about that. Can't buy paint. Can't buy a lawnmower. Can't buy a bunch of different stuff. Stuff that we need daily. If you don't have it, you're not getting it. They gave us a warning. They gave us two weeks. They gave us a month to get what we can to survive. I mean, we got food pantries. We got, uh, we got, uh, still, we got the grocery stores we can buy, but we're limited. Two per customer, blah, blah, blah. Two things. Nobody's buying milk, supposedly. Nobody's buying milk. The farmers are told to drain their tanks because nobody's buying milk. Gas prices are way down. Do you know why? Because Trump took over the, the Fed.
the Fed is no longer supported by OPEC. OPEC, the oil, petroleum, something fucking corporation, used to control the, the, uh, what do you call it? The Federal Reserve. They no longer are even uh, in the picture anymore. Trump has made the United States self-dependent. Self-dependent. We don't have to depend on foreign countries to provide us oil or crude oil or gas or food or products. We are going to make it here in the United States ourselves. Some of you don't like that. Some of you might rather have forests and lakes and stuff like that. But in order for us to be self-dependent and not depend on other countries for these products. And believe me, the United States is a lot more strict than what these other countries are. And if you think we have a, a, a carbon footprint, yeah, go look at China. Go look at China's uh, carbon footprint. Look anywhere besides the United States. I guarantee you. We are way low on the list compared to them. Way low. The global warming is nothing but a way for the government to tax us on everything. They put uh, so hard of EPA regulations on oil refineries truck drivers and everything, they can't even afford to keep their businesses going. Every refinery in the United States is one fire away from closing. There's no money to rebuild it. There's no profit in in rebuilding it. It's easier to shut it down and continue going with what you got. Rebuilding new? Forget about it. You can't break ground. You, You... You have to go through all these EPA regulations to shut down a gas station. Want to know why the gas stations are all closing up? Because they got these tanks underground that they cannot access without paying a crap ton of EPA regulation fines. Where's the money go? Into thin air? No, it goes straight to the government. Where does it, it go then? God only knows. It's all a bunch of BS. It's all a bunch of BS. Now I know, you know, deforestation and stuff like that is is bad. But they're replanting trees. They're replanting trees left and right. There's a plan for something like 8 million trees to be planted this year. Can we do that if we're under a freaking... COVID-19 quarantine? No. Can we build a wall? No. Can we go to work? No. Can the steel mills produce steel if the uh, car factories are printing off masks? No. Nobody's buying steel. Nobody's buying anything. Truckers are truckers are going to be sitting at home because the grocery stores are packed full of stuff except for groceries. If you're not running a grocery truck... Forget it. You're not going to be on the road next month. Steel mills? Forget it. Uh, our steel, our local steel mills have ran the steel out that they can. They're closing, not closing down, but they're idling down everything. Starting to lay off people, forcing them to take vacations. We got to get this thing under control. We got to stand behind Trump and the Republican Party. Sorry, I'm not a Republican. But this is the only way we are going to get through this. We got to stand behind Trump. We got to have faith in God. We got to have faith in Trump. I'm out. BDC. Out. Or CFAM4. Out.